Yeah, hi Raghavi, how are you? I am fine, ma'am. How are you? I'm also doing good. Thank you for asking. So, first of all, congratulations on your placement at McKinsey as Junior Capabilities and Insights Analytics Analyst. Thank you so much. So, how are you feeling about the placement? Are you happy about the role offer? Did it meet your expectations? Uh, just a little insight story. So, I heard about McKinsey the first time when I went to IM Indore. That was mm -hmm. the first IM I was ever visiting, and it was a placement season at that time. And all I was hearing was McKinsey, McKinsey, McKinsey. And that's mm -hmm. when I looked up about McKinsey in my second year. And since then, it has been my dream company that I always wanted to uh, join. I didn't know it would come at a BTEC level, but eventually, I knew I wanted to like be there. And I was more than happy when I got to know McKinsey was coming to camp campus and oh, I'm like overjoyed like cloud nine <laughs> that I'm in McKinsey and I'm really happy about the role offered about the second question because uh, we are basically dealing we are going to be a data analyst for the client capabilities network and what the client capabilities network deals with you work with multiple sectors multiple domains and try to understand what each domain is doing and understand and like you know modify and help and optimize the entire data pipeline. So that is something which aligns very much with my computer science degree also. So it's something I'm really happy. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, great. So how would you describe your experience during the interview process? So I had three interviews, the first I'll tell step by step about each interview. The first interview, they asked me one guesstimate. Uh, mm -hmm. It was about uh, find out the revenue that is generated by the healthcare industries on uh, healthcare centers on campus. Like we have, since I'm from IIT BHU, we have one student health center, we have one trauma center. So what is the revenue generated and all? So it was a guesstimate uh, where I had to first find out the number of uh, people visiting and then the revenue generated. Apart mm -hmm. from this, they asked me a few SQL questions and uh, basically like union versus union all uh, rank and dense rank so they were focusing a little on window functions also and he asked me to code one two SQL questions on paper itself so that was all fine and uh, about the resume they really grilled about the resume in all the three rounds uh, in my first round he pointed each word in my resume and the skill and asked where did you use this where did you use this where did you use this and uh, asked me in detail about all my projects and everything like complete grill that went exceeded about like half an hour wherein the training and placement cell people actually had to come and tell him stop <laughs> so that was the first round uh the second round uh was again they asked me a few sql questions uh uh, it they were like multiple sub queries involved. He wanted me mm -hmm. to solve it with window functions, but I also solved it with you know uh, sub queries and all that. So he was happy with that. Apart after that, I was asked uh, a one case study wherein I had to find out why the population of Japan is shrinking. And then he was very happy because I linked it to lack of opportunities of women like postpartum care and all that. So that was an aspect which was like really different. He felt. Apart from that, I also had to calculate or uh, you know, estimate the number of airplanes of Air India in air at the moment. So that also was uh, good. And then he asked me a little about ML because I'm from computer science. So he asked me uh, a little about graph neural networks. That was a project on my resume. So he wanted to know the architecture, everything. So uh, that was the second round, like in short. And the third round was slightly different. Uh, again, he grilled me a lot on my resume and then he asked me to measure he gave a huge story and then in that the crux of it was that i had to measure the height of leaning tower of pizza so then i gave him three approaches and then he asked me to uh, i gave one approach where then we would use tan theta that was like a civil engineering approach which i had that's what first year civil engineers do heard from a friend then i used uh, equations of motion dropping a ball from top of leaning tower of pizza then i used concepts of light and reflection uh, he, he was happy with all three, but he wanted one more approach. He asked me to use a barometer. I said, since I was a computer science engineer, I completely slipped out of my mind. I couldn't recollect what a barometer does. And then uh, he asked me that, okay, so then since you're a computer science engineer, start listing out all the ML algorithms you know. And I had to explain the statistics behind it. So suppose I was talking about um, a linear regression, I had to tell exactly how the best fit line is drawn, everything. Suppose I was dealing with decision trees, I had to tell how each split was made. He, in fact, made me write a data set on my own and add a new build a decision tree and then add a new tuple of data and asked me how it would be 
reclassified. So mm -hmm. in detail, we went there. And apart from that, a few like HR type questions and all. There was no HR round, but uh, mm -hmm. like testing you HR type questions in the last round, like one, two, but it was also a tech round. Yeah. Okay, understood. So how well did our pre-placement support like mock interviews, resume reviews, etc. prepare you for this job? Uh, the ACE interview platform, as you call it, it was extremely helpful because uh, A, McKinsey had never come to college before. I think it came once in 2019, but it didn't pick up anyone. So I did have immediate seniors with whom I could ask them to take my mock interview. So uh, MAS really connected me to a lot of people. The ACE interview platform, I would like to thank each and every person. They read about the role when i told them then they asked me questions about it they conducted as of exactly how mckinsey would do they went up on the website and searched a lot so i would say very very helpful in fact when i contacted akash so he extended the number of tokens i had so that i could like give n number of interviews so i think mock interviews are something which is a complete game changer and the way mas has completely focused on it that is why i could enter the interview like extremely chill cool not nervous because i had practiced every question so yeah mm -hmm. okay great so looking back is there anything you wish you had focused on more during college that would help in your current role uh i think that every aspect not something more i would say i think i was really happy with the way i lived my college life because uh in my first year i was exploring product consulting all that and i've been into entrepreneurship right since day one of college even before college so i was part mm -hmm. of the business club i was part of e-cell i was i did everything in my first year i was even part of dance club everything then in my second year oh i understood that just the knowledge of you know tech i mean oh, just the knowledge of entrepreneurship and all that in my first year i had gone to international case competitions i had all the exposure in the business side then in the mm -hmm. second year because i'm a computer science engineer explored technology app development everything then in the third year i found a perfect intersection of both that was data science and so i feel that in my entire college life i have lived through everything if there's anything more i would do but that's only sports and that's nothing related to this role so i have done everything i think and that has helped me a lot because each and every part of your uh, journey it they really ask about it so it is essential that one has an all-round growth yeah okay great so what tips would you give to someone aiming to get selected for this role okay so uh if you look about uh, the role essentially they are actually asking you uh, guesstimates, case studies, which is not like a one day thing. You have to do it over a period of time because they are not this easy case studies or guesstimates that you're just going to read of IM, ABC books or something. So I think actually practicing guesstimates and case studies right from day one, like you would require like a whole lot of practice to think about it at that point of time. SQL mm -hmm. is something one must really focus on start coding SQL every bit of it build the logic on your own not simple simple queries you have to do like a really in-depth or uh, try two three approaches for each SQL question or uh, coding in Python which is very important because they asked me a little pandas coding also so that okay. is something people should focus on I think machine learning not just the algorithms but also you know the logic behind it why the statistics behind every loss function that is again very important like every word you say you should know like in depth knowledge about it and mm -hmm. i think your resume should have only the things that you're very clear of and you should be extremely thorough with your resume they literally asked me about each case competition why i won the second place and not first or why did i get second what did the other teams present so it's like in detail knowledge about everything and mm -hmm. oh that would be one thing sql ml case studies guesstimates apart from that i think normal like puzzles problem solving and all that and uh apart from that i think like whatever you're doing always know that uh this is the advantage i'm getting this particular activity that i'm doing this is the value it is adding into my life so i think being able to communicate what you have actually done throughout your college life and you know telling it in your interview and trying to understand that i did this what did it add to me that is something which you must think yeah so that's it Okay. Okay, Raghavi, thank you so much for sharing your placement interview experience with us. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you. You too. <laughs> okay.